again everyone, this is Mike with Infinity Hobby. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing and telling you a little bit about our CUAV GPS unit. Um, this unit, we've been using it for quite some time now and it's a very, very good, very reliable unit. Uh, a few things we'd like to tell you about it is it's using the, uh, the LEA 6H uh, GPS chip. Um, which again, if you don't know the differences between the uh, the 6H and the 6N, um, the 6N uh, basically has a span for your GPS to find you within within a range of about three meters. Um, where this unit here, uh, the the 6H, um, is within a couple feet. Um, so again, that's a really big difference when you're trying to track something down, being within you know a three meter span, any which way or a couple of feet. So basically, having the the 6H chip in there means that uh, when your drone is up in the air, it's going to stay stable within a couple of feet. Uh, where if you're using the cheaper 6N version, it's going to be swaying back and forth up to three meters any which way. Where this thing is going to keep it very, very, very steady. Um, again, if you're mounted and camera on there, it's going to keep it extremely steady uh, within, a, within a, a foot, a foot and a half maybe of movement as opposed to three or four meters uh, with, the ch with the lower end chips. Um, also inside, it's using the, the U-Blox uh, chip, which again is a very high quality end chip that's being run inside the unit. Um, as you can see here, it's using the DF-13 clips. Uh, now, um, some of your flight controllers are using the, the Molex uh, plug, uh, where again, this unit's using the, the DF-13s. Uh, now, so if you've got this problem, basically all you're going to want to do, it, it's still compatible, it will still work, but this um, this the plug is going to have just a little clip right here on the edge and you just have to take a knife or a file and just file that away and in, insert it should be very very great and I, I would like to just sort of let you guys know uh, the reasoning behind this stuff the reason why we use the the DF-13 stuff is because in the original design plans for most of your your flight controller units and such they're supposed to be using a DF-13 now what they've done in order to cut costs is uh, the, not using the DF-13s because they are a little bit more expensive. So what they what they're doing is they're using a Molex uh, uh, plug, and again uh, the stuff will work, but it does take just a little bit of filing down of just these little uh, safety clips that are right here on these sides, and it's just a tiny little piece of plastic that's just meant for the the actual fitting in on the DF-13 clips. Another really great um, feature that this thing has is it's got the, the built-in compass chip as well, which again is telling you uh, just like a normal compass would northwest, east, south and such. Um, again, a very, very great unit. Uh, comes in the box uh, with your mounting units. Um, again, you want to keep this stuff away, uh, especially with GPS stuff. You don't want any extra signals uh, affecting it. So it comes with a, 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 a base bracket so you can extend it away from like your flight controller unit or anything that's giving out a signal that may interrupt your, your signal to your GPS. Um, and it's a, it's a full sort of a 180 degree uh, type of setup, which again is really, really nice. And again, that comes standard in the box. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take apart this uh, this uh, GPS unit that we told you a bit about here just prior, uh, just so we can show you the actual inner workings and what it actually has inside. Uh, again, uh, basically just three screws or four screws on the back. Just unscrew them. We don't don't please don't do this at home. We're just going to show you exactly what's inside them, so you guys don't have to go uh, digging into them. But uh, basically, when you take it off, right on the top, you're going to have your GPS antenna, uh, which again just gets the signal in. Um, telling you where you are and such. On the bottom, again, we're going to show you straight up uh, the U Blocks uh, chip running the LEA 6H unit, which again is the top of the line uh, unit uh, chips when uh, when when using the GPS stuff. Uh, you've got a battery, which uh, the battery is there for uh, quicker startup times. Um, it actually takes a, a a record of your last uh, GPS uh, signal inputs. So what that does is that just makes startup a little bit faster. One more very important thing we'd like to point out on the GPS unit is, is the compass chip. Usually on most compass chips you'll actually find the compass chip on this side of the actual unit, uh, the, this side of the actual uh, like circuit board. Uh, we went and changed that and we put it on this side, uh, which means if you're doing any uh, uh, setting up and configurations inside your unit, you're going to have to do the 180 flip on that, um, just to let you guys know that uh, so if it's coming up and reading a bit weird, that's the reason why, because we put that compass chip on this side of the actual screen. Hey again guys, this is Mike from Infinity Hobby, 
Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know we're doing these videos up for all of our customers uh, to let us know some of the new products that we have and some of the great things that we that come across uh, we come across at our company. Uh, so if you like our videos, uh, please click like um, and also subscribe to our channel. Uh, we really do appreciate it, and we have a lot more videos for you in the near future.